Ions for ions from the uh, electrolyte to the cathode. This will allow ions to transport inside the, uh, the cathode itself. But why solid state uh, batteries? In, uh, in, 2007, uh, in 2017, we found a problem with the Galaxy Note 7. The batteries were exploded uh, because of um, uh, mis uh, misbehavior of the battery itself. And also, there were in 2015 a problem in the Boeing planes. Uh, they it get uh, it get it caught a fire because of the, uh, of, the of the battery itself. So eliminate the, the solid state lithium ion batteries, eliminate the thermal runaway, and also it has a high voltmetric uh, current density. The problem here that because we are talking about solid state, all solid state lithium ion batteries, that means we have no more space <coughs> during the deletion process, the layers of the LCO starting to expand. This, this expansion will um, propagate a stress on the component of the, uh, of the composite cathode. So today, our work plan is to make a design, a microstructural design of the, uh, of the <coughs> composite cathode. And here we are talking about the LCO, LLZ dimension. We are talking about the phase ratio and the centering percentage. The second process is uh, to characterize the microstructural process, and here we are talking about the centering, the ball size, ball size distribution, and ball code length, and interface area. The last thing is to check the effect of the microstructural parameters on the characterization on the, the cathode itself, and we are talking here about the uh, mechanical stress, Conductivity, ionic for LLZ and uh, electronic for LCO. Finally, we are talking about the charge capacity. We mean by charge capacity the amount of LCO in the composite cathode. Our goal is to minimize the stress while maintaining the electronic and ionic conductivity and capacity. And also, we will try to investigate which factor will will will, will govern the uh, stress in the composite cathode. So. Our plan is to gather up the, 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 the same images from focused ion beam same images. Uh, then we and we import it to the uh, geodetic program. It's a simulator to do simulation for this stuff. Now through the image processing binarization and ML, image processing and binarization, and then. Uh, simulation we created or we imported the, uh, the microstructure itself. Now we are trying to mimic the, or mimic the, the, the experimental uh, microstructure by regenerating the microstructure itself. But if we can return back, I don't know how to return back here. Uh, yeah. If, if we return back here, we noticed that the LCO here, the dark one, it consists of, it's uh, almost flat, so we can say it's hydroplanar uh, shape, and the LLZ with our, the, y, the bright one is, is spheres. So that's why we choose, we choose to, uh, we choose the LLZ, the, the LCO to be coplanar, we means here with a specific, of, of course, with a specific uh, concentration, with specific diameter. Now, uh, all, we have uh, two shapes for LCO, coplanar, uh, with five edges here, uh, pentagon, and uh, two spheres. And the FOL is that we have three spheres with different uh, percentages and different di uh, diameters. The first step would be, first, piling, and when we, when we talk about when we talk about piling, we need the components of the uh, composite cathode to pile down from the Y axis. Then we are talking about centering to gather up the, the particles together, to condense them, and finally to crop them and uh, to roughen them and to crop them. As, uh, as you can see, regarding, or if we, 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 we could mimic the real 
the uh, both size distribution of the, the of the experimental one, but we got a real almost real, almost close uh, values of the conductivity of LCO in y direction and L, uh, uh, conductivity of LLZ in the y direction. Also, we have all the same almost the same amount of stresses meaning sigma 1 LCO, uh, sigma 1 LLZ and sigma 3 LCO and we care about sigma 1 LLZ and sigma 3 LCO because the whole values are in between, sandwiches between these two values so if we could minimize them we certainly we could minimize everything else also we have the same, almost the same amount uh, on the uh, capacity, which means that we, we could say that we achieve the, uh, uh, the experimental uh, microstructure, which means we can list, uh, study the origin uh, or uh, varied parameters on it to study what ha what's mm -hmm. happening here. The mechanical stress, we can find that there is the large tensile stress in the LCO and uh, the uh, tensile stress in LLZ and combustion in LCO. That means uh, we could find a plastic or we, a plastic deformation could occur, which means a damage in the battery itself, and the cavern itself. First, we would like how to start. Which microstructure parameter we would, we would, use, we would change here and uh, start with it first. First, we would like to introduce the cold length distribution. The cold length distribution is, um, it gives us a, a representative of how much poles we have in the cathode. As, as you know, more poles means more spaces or more free spaces for the layers of, uh, for the LCO layers to expand freely without for plastic deformation. So, as we say, uh, as we see here, Wow. No way. Something missing. We found that the sensitivity of changing the centering on the cold length distribution is for the centering. It means 0 0.41 micrometer. The other factors are low in sensitivity by changing the, uh, uh, the other factors. So we started with the centering here. With, we started with centering. We find out that as we increase the amount of centering, we increase the amount of uh, stress. And this because uh, while increasing centering, we are decreasing the values of pores, so no spaces for the LCO layers to expand, which will propagate or uh, create a, a stress inside the composite cathode itself. So we can see here that the stress starts from point uh, from 50% centering. So we can take this 50% of centering as a candidate of optimum value. But why we need to why not zero? Because later on, it's candidate, but we will check off what, what's going on there. So, 50 cent would, could be the best option, but we would like to first to check on what's the value of. Uh, yeah, we can see here at, zero per, at, at 50 percent, we have a relative LCO, uh, electrical, capacity, uh, electrical conductivity, we have uh, a sufficient. LLZ, uh, 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 sufficient LLZ uh, uh, ionic conductivity relative, relative ionic conductivity. So we could take, we would, uh, we would take this point as a candidate point for the, uh, for, uh, for the centering value. But the question is, why increasing centering would increase also the, uh, the, the stress? We would like to uh, suggest a relation. We mean here the, so the, the LCO to LLZ surface area. And here, if you, invest, if you know, we did a research on uh, two percentages, mainly 70% and, uh, and 96%. Uh, 
as you can see, in 70%, there is no more stress. No stress at all. But at 96%, we, uh, the, uh, the, compo uh, the composite cathode comp uh, uh, suffered from a high stress insight. But why? If we know this, uh, the, the blue dash is the, uh, the surface area between the LCO in, in, in red and LZ in green. Why? The black dashes are the, the, the surface area between the LCO and the pores. So our equation is K factor equal to area of LC, surface area between L LCO to LLZ divided by the whole area, which, uh, mainly, uh, namely the LCO to LLZ and LCO to pores. So as we found here, increasing the centering would increase the uh, relative LCO fraction, but more, increasing the centering would increase the LCO LLZ ratio, uh, uh, interface uh, ratio which means that there is a directly proportional relation between them. So we can, we can understand that if we, if we have increasing the, in this area would also increase the, the stress inside the composite cathode. So decreasing it would be the, 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 the best solution. Would in decrease, increasing the LCO fraction would decrease the LCO LLZ uh, relation uh, surface area, and also it would decrease the stress in the LCO and increase the stress in the LLZ. Could you repeat this? This one? I didn't get what you said. Can you increasing the LCO ratio, I mean, how much how much LCO in the composite well, first, it will start to decrease the amount of uh, surface area, okay, because the decrement of LLZ, so it will be no contact area between them, not that much, because we are decreasing the amount of LCO, so we need to decrease the it's amount okay. of LLZ. I, I mean, maybe, if, if, you, if we use 60%, the uh, LCO, we need 40% LLZ, but we, if we increase it more, if we increase it more, let's say to 80%, we are using just 20% of LLZ. That means less surface area or contact area between them. This is what I mean. Okay? And also, increasing the LCO uh, fraction would decrease the LCO uh, stress, but, but increasing the LCO, the LLZ uh, stress inside the composite. Now, Increasing the LCO fraction also would increase the LCO capacity, which is uh, obviously we can uh, assume that, and also will increase the LCO capacity, electrical, uh, electrical conductivity. But we we notice that increasing the LCO capacity uh, value uh, fraction would uh, would decrease to zero for the LLZ ionic conductivity. So right now we can nominate 60% of LCO percentage in the composite cathode as a candidate or as a best option for, uh, the, uh, for the mixture itself. Now regarding to the LLZ dimension, increasing the LLZ dimension would decrease the, uh, the, the stress in the LCO, but also increase, uh, decreasing the stress in the LLZ while we noticed that this this uh, this uh, this decrement started at point one point three four. So we took it, we took it as a candidate point, and we will check another factors. This we can say that in decreasing the amount of LLZ will increase will decrease the surface area the LC the, the surface area between LCO and LLZ. This would be an explanation. Again. Here, increasing the amount of LC, uh, LLZ would decrease. Well, I mean, there, there will be instead of two uh, particles in fact, uh, having a contact with the LCO, we have just one particle with the LCO, with the LCO which means decreasing the surface area between them. So, also increasing the, uh, the LLZ dimension would increase the uh, LCO electrical conductivity. It will not change the LCO capacity, for instance, until a point of 3.34. So we will take it 
uh, as per, in, in consideration. We also find that the LZ, LZ dimension has decre decreasing, increasing it, dec will decrease the LZ uh, ionic conductivity, and we will take 0.134 micrometer for LZ dimension as an optimum solution for the LZ dimension. Finally, we would investigate the effect of LCO dimension. Here, increasing the LCO dimension would decrease the, uh, the stress in the LCO, but uh, also there is no much change on the LLZ uh, stress. And this will start at 0.4 micrometer LLZ, uh, LCO. Uh, here, we can find that increasing the LCO dimension will increase the contact surface area between LCO and LLZ. Uh, finally, we found that LCO dimension will not change I mean, from starting from point almost 0.7, there is no change in the LCO capacity, while there are sufficiently or <coughs> little bit increment in the LNZ relative ionic conductivity, and there is decrement or decreasing in the values of LCO electric, uh, electronic, uh, electrical uh, conductivity. So we will take four micrometer micro, uh, micrometer uh, LCO dimension as a rough optimum solution for us. As a conclusion, increasing the sending value will increase the stress. Uh, also, higher value of LCO, higher value of LCO fraction is not favorable. We can say that LLZ relative ionic conductivity is dominated by LCO dimension, while LCO <coughs> relative ionic conductivity is, domi is dominated by LLZ dimension. LCO dimension don't affect LLZ stress, but sufficiently affect the stress in the LCO. And LLZ dimension don't affect the LCO stress, but sufficiently affect the, L, uh, the stress of the LLZ. What recommended so far? 50% sentence, 60% of uh, LCA sentence LCO fraction, 1.34 micrometer of LLZ, and 4 micrometer LCO. What we got is reduction of 30 or of 31.54 percent in a sigma one LLZ. We mean here stress in the LLZ and a reduction of 39.34 in the stress of the LCO. Uh, we have 43.85 percentage of centering uh, of, of porosity. This needs to be checked up or to be modified. Finally, we have 35 34.25. Percent of capacity, and we need to increase that uh, that uh, that value. The disadvantage here that the conductivity, the LCO conductivity, is reduced. But also, we have an idea about incre uh, increasing or enhancing or refining the conductivity or the durability of the cathode here by. Uh, columnar structure, uh, this proposed by Dr. Robert Mokit. Here we can find that LLZ is surrounded with LCO as a layer, and there will be a uh, 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 wisely distributed of the pores inside the, the microstructure here, so the LCO can have a place to uh, expand. The, the most optimum solution for this is the fiber or uh, LLZ. We studied just the effect, the effect of LLZ radius here, but we found out that increasing the radius would increase also the surface area, the LCO to LLZ surface area. Suddenly, we found that increasing this value means the reduction in the uh, stress, which means that the LCO, LLZ surface area is not a governing factor. We could not say yet. It's a governing factor for the whole thing. It seems that for every material or every microstructure or every shapes built in, need another factor. So we need to refine the, uh, the equation itself. One of the, uh, of the solution is to refine the equation itself. This is the PhD project. I don't know if you like
شكرا لكل الجهود هذه الخاصة المشاريع التي تمثل بالتعاون مع الألمان
بس هو يعني هو يعني هي بدها تكون هو لينك على لينك هو لينك على لينك بالضبط ليس هو دايمنشن وانا قصدي انه قديش في عندك نسبه دايمنشن ما ممكن تكون تنز ديس نورماليزيشن تو ذا فولد هو مش ذاكرها هذه انرجي سترين انرجي دنسيتي اللي بدك تكتبها سترين انرجي دنسيتي ان شاء الله تكون بس قبل هذا لما حكيت انه الستريس هو فورس على ايرلي صح؟ شو بيفرق عن البريشر؟ البريشر فورس على ايرلي تقريبا نفس الشيء البريشر بده يكون البريشر تبع الاتموسفير بيفرق معي بس الفورس ده اوبجكت عن هيك بفهم لا البريشر فورس على ايرلي مضبوط اسبوعيا مظبوط بس احنا البشر ممكن احنا بنستخدم الاستس اكثر كاوبجكت بتاثر بالقوه. طيب ما هو على اساس مشان سؤالي الثاني يعني لازم تكون اوضح انك الصوره تكون اوضح لان كل شغلك انت على الستري على الستريس تنسر مضبوط؟ دايجونال في الستريس تنسر تكون البريشر صح لانه بكون تعريف البريشر لما يكون الفورس عمودية على الاريا او الفورس دايركشن ان ذا اريا دايركشن صح يعني صح صح ويكون هو الدايركشن اه صح فالبقية ممكن يكون اللي ينتج عنها الشير ولا ينتج عن الفورميشن ممكن تكون الفورس الفورس مش مش اه موازية للبلين طب equation 2-4 سيجما دي و سيجما في شو موضح لي يوم سيجما دي و في لا هني موضحات اذا انت شايف في عندك القوة في عندك السيجما في اللي هي فولومتك سترين اه ماشي والسيجما دي اللي هي دايكونا اللي بتعيش يمكن حضرتكم بس انا بدي بدي انا فاهم عليك اه هلا في عندك انت البي اللي هي قديش في عندك ديستورشن بتعمل صفين بتعمل نفس الكلام اللي بتعمله والبي بتكون عندك ديستورشن اه بس انت معلومات الماتريكس المنتس ال 2 اوفر 3 سيجما ماينس سيجما اوفر 3 ماينس سيجما اوفر 3 وانا كانت مش تركيزنا في الماتريكس صحيح. اه يعني هاي انا ذكرتها من باب العلم مش انا ما لا يعني انا لو محلك يعني هذول ممكن يكونوا مفتاح الي يعني انا بدي اخلي الستريس ممكن يكون هذول مفتاح الي انا اشتغل عليهم الشغل تبعنا الشغل تبعنا كان مبني على اساس انه احنا نغير فاكتور تبعيه ال ال ان سي او والان زد باراميترز بناء على ذلك نشوف شو بيطلع معنا هلا بتفرج السؤال السؤال الاخير في عنا ال الماتريكس المنتس اللي بس تنصر 2 اوفر 3 سيجما ماينس سيجما اوفر 3 دايجنا ماينس سيجما اوفر 3 اذا في منين اجوا هذول وكيف انحسبوا؟ هذول مش كثير ركزت عليهم ما ركزتش عليهم كمان حتى ركزتش فرق دخلتهم بالبروبوزل اللي كانوا عاملينهم شوي ماشي لانه هو بعد شوي بتحكي عن سيجما 1 وسيجما 2 وسيجما 3 وبعدين انت لما بتحكي عن الواي اكسس هو بتتركيزك على الاساسيات اه بس مش كمات مش كمات بس احنا ما اشتغلناش مات لا 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 بس لا بس احنا ما اشتغلناش مات لا بس احنا ما اشتغلناش مات لا بس احنا ما اشتغلناش مات لا بس احنا ما طب لما نحكي في الار واي اكس اللي هي قديش في عندي فورس على الدايمنشن اللي هي بالواي والزد الواي والزد الواي اكس عندي هون